Okay guys, in today's video I'll be showing you how I make my communication cards. Enjoy! Okay, so to download the cards that I've made, you're going to want to go to my YouTube, which if you're watching this, you're already on. So go to my main page and click About, and scroll down to Links. So I have links to my TikTok, my Instagram, my Amazon wishlist, and my Teachers Pay Teachers. You're going to want to click on the Teachers Pay Teachers link. And then it's going to bring you, of course, to my Teachers Pay Teachers page, where I have three different sets of communication cards available, which are all free. So I'm going to click on the stoplight ones here, and then there's going to be a button here that says download, so just click it, and it'll download them instantly for free, since I don't understand why this is something that everyone should have access to. So once it's done downloading, it's going to pop up, and then you can click it open. And these are the stoplight ones that I made. These are some of my most used cards. So it says stoplight communication cards. These communication cards are perfect for telling others how you are doing and if you need help in the moment. They are some of my most used cards and help a lot. I hope they will help you and or a loved one. So the green one says I'm doing good. Yellow is I'm struggling a bit and red is I'm overwhelmed. And then if you scroll down, the second page gives a little more context. So it says green is I'm doing good. I don't need help at the moment. Yellow is I'm currently struggling. It's not urgent, but would like to talk when you get a chance. And red is I'm not feeling safe. I need someone to sit with me for a bit. And then to print them, you'll just print the little, press the printer button in the, in the corner. And then you can print one page or both pages, whatever you're feeling. Then for, let's click on the autism ones next. I'll show you guys those ones. So then you can go back to the main page. So I have autism communication cards as well. And we're going to click download now for these ones as well. And then we'll open those up. So autism communication cards. These are communication cards that are more autism specific, but anyone can use them. Scroll for different patterns and blank cards. So I have three different pattern options. This white and gray dot one, this green and blue geometric one, and this purple and green geometric one. So when you're printing these ones, if you just want the one pattern, you press pages and then go to custom. And then if you just want the gray, you'll just click one to two. So then it'll, it'll just print pages one and two, which are the gray cards. But these cards say, I have autism spectrum disorder. Please be patient with me. I'm sorry I'm not looking at you while we talk. Eye contact is very difficult for me. I stim, meaning sometimes I rock my body, make sounds, flap my hands, and chew on things. Doing this helps me deal with difficult situations or express my emotions. I'm having a meltdown during this time. I may act unexpectedly or dangerously. This happens when I am upset. I will be okay. This is normal. I use chewing aids. Chewing helps me regulate. I use chewable items such as necklaces and fidgets. I use them to release energy, express my emotions, and regulate my senses. Please don't touch or take them. Conversations are hard for me. Sometimes I may not know what to say or I'll say something inappropriate. Please, please be patient with me. I'm trying my best. And then there are two blank cards. And to, since this is a PDF... How you can use the blank cards is you can screen capture them. So I just took a picture of just the blank card and then it's going to save that to my desktop. And I'm going to drag it to my downloads. And then I'm going to open up a blank document in Word. I'm going to drag it in there. And then you're going to want to insert a text box and you can draw the text box and then you can type in anything you want. One of my favorite things is hi I'm Chris. I don't know why. It's just what I love. I love saying that to people. I'm Chris. Summer 2019. My yearbook quote would be I'm Chris. And then you can make it as big as you want. And you can, of course, change the font. I'm a sucker for Comic Sans, even though everybody seems to hate that font. Oops, a little too big now. There we go. Just adjust it, and then you can get rid of the border so there's no outline. And there you go. You can drag it around and have it fit. And then also, if, since see that covers the outside line, you can also change the fill to no fill so it'll get rid of that for you. And then you can write anything you want on them. So size-wise, I make my cards, I actually can't tell, I couldn't tell you one second. I have two. I have a page opened with cards right now, so if I just open that up, I can tell you. Okay, right here. So my card size is two inches by about three and a half inches, so we can crop this down so we have a better idea of the sizing. There we go. 
So then we want it three inches. Oops. Three inches. Wait, that was that was right, right? <laughs> I can't remember now. I mess up. No. Yeah, three and a half inches. Okay. <gasps> three and a half inches. It is currently six in the morning, as you can tell, by two inches. There we go. And of course, you can drag your text there again. Obviously, edit it because it's a lot smaller now. And then you can put a whole bunch on one page. So, or what you could do instead of doing what I just did is just copy and paste it so you already have the sizing and formatting. So there you go. That is how you would do it using my cards. And now I'm going to switch over to my iPad and I'm going to show you how to make them using an app. Okay, so this is how you make communication cards using an app. So you're going to want to go to the App Store and pull up Adobe Spark Post Poster Maker. You can just type in Spark Post or Adobe Spark Post and it'll come up. And mine needs an update, but we're not going to do that. So we're just going to open it through the web, through the app page. So you're probably going to have to make an account when you first make it, but that's totally okay. It's free. It's just to save all your um, things to a device. So then no matter what device you're on, you still have access to all your files. So you're going to want to click the green circle at the bottom with the plus sign and click solid color. I'm going to make mine white, but you can make it any color you want. And there's a little watermark at the bottom. Just click on that and click remove the watermark so then it's gone. And then it's going to ask you to pick a size. So I'm going to do mine in 16.9 or 16.9. It's a ratio, not a decimal. <laughs> I'm going to actually delete the text right now so then I can see all my workspace without any interruptions. And I'm going to click layout. And I'm going to go over here to grid where it's split into two and open that up. So now it's split into two and I'm actually going to pull the left side. So it's just a sliver and I'm going to change this taupe color. So click on it and change it to white and change the other side to a pattern. So we're going to click edit and replace and I'm going to go to patterns. So Adobe has a whole bunch of free patterns you can use. I am going to pick the one that I always use, so I'm going to type in purple and download this geometric one to my library. You can always also use, if there's a pattern you've seen on Google or whatever, totally do that. To do that, you'll just want to click replace and then go to your photo library and then click whatever photo you want to use, but I like this purple one. And then I'm also going to add a border because when I'm cutting mine out, I want to make sure I have straight lines. So we're going to click layout again go to border and I make my border about three points big and I'm going to change the color I'm going to click the sliding bar and the eyedropper press and hold the eyedropper so I can make it a color that is a part of the picture there we go perfect so now we have the base for our communication card so to add the text go to add and click text and then you can type in whatever you want so I'm going to write Chris's communication cards so then I have a title card for all my cards and then you can adjust it any way you want so it'll be any kind of look you can adjust the font there's a whole bunch of awesome fonts I like to use which one is it there's two I like to use this one okay so I like to use Belfort for my titles so if I'm doing a title page I'll do Belfort but then for my actual font on my cards if it's not a title I'll use Lato. So those are the two that I use and I usually use it in the color black. But to get rid of the shape too because I don't like the shape you just go to shape and click basic and then you can get rid of it and it'll just be font. So there we go we're gonna go back to Belford though since this is a cover card. Then you can make it nice and big and centered. There we go Chris's communication cards. So that is how you make a communication card using your iPad and, or iPhone. This app is not specific to iPads. You can download it on your phone. I have it on my iPod. So to save it, all you do is click the little box in the right corner and you can click save image. And then now it's saved to my camera roll. And to, uh, to stop, in case you don't want to make this whole template process all over again, you can go back to the main page and just click on the card you just made and you can click duplicate press done and then you've just dupli duplicated your card so you can 
have the same base layout. See, we still have our original, and now we have another one. So then we can go over and over again, making a whole bunch of different cards without losing the card we've made before. And that's what I love to do. As you can see, I have quite a few out right now. But that is how I make my communication cards. That's how I make my communication cards. I hope this video was helpful for you.